in our preacher, I've been told to notify someone in a silver Toyota Camry, uh, license plate TFK453. Uh, if you don't move, your car might not be where you left it. Amen. All right. But I, again, I stand to present to some and introduce to others Pastor Steve Small Jr. True Life Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. 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 So let's stand. Let me see Sharp.
in Jesus' name we ask it. The church said, Amen. God bless you. We are delighted to be with you today. I um, want to thank your pastor and my dear friend for this invitation. Uh, he could have chose many, many other preachers to come and stand at this moment. I do want to thank our church for cooperating with us and enabling us to, to be here. hard to change anything in the black church. If you're not going to change it, but for one day it's still hard to change. It's hard to change it. So we, um, we certainly want to thank, thank them. Thank them for coming with us. Those people don't have to go with you, do they? Um, I think this decorating committee, y'all got it looking good. Y'all look good and everything looking good. I thought I was over in Israel somewhere when I walked in and saw all this stuff. I didn't have no idea where I was. And it's great choir you all got here. Y'all give yourselves a big round of applause. Great choir. Everything, everything good. Everything is good. Everything is good. Um, glad to see my good, good friend and homeboy, Brother Etheridge. We from the same hometown. Amen. Amen. Safford, Alabama. Alberta, Alabama. Jeez, Bean. Yeah, that's our stomping ground. Well, I'm not going to hold you long. I know y'all ready to go eat. Yesterday, so you know. I want to. Uh, I, I, I noticed your theme and this beautiful, beautiful program. I'm going to cut this picture out of me and put it up somewhere on the wall. Yeah, that, that's a good looking picture, that one. I tell you, I, I didn't realize I looked that good.
Thoughts from uh, chapter 1. And I want to um, begin reading with verse 35. 35. And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place. And there prayed. And Simon and they that were with him followed after him. Yes, sir. And when they had found him, they said unto him, All men seek for thee. And he said unto them, Let us go into the next town, that I may preach there also. For therefore came I forth. And he preached in the synagogue throughout all Galilee and cast out devils. May be seated. Briefly, I want to look at Jesus came preaching. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Straight away. 
for Jesus. Some, some, some church will knock you on the back, back up there as far as your wife comes from me. They, they do, they disrespect the preacher. They think the preacher is just another man like everybody else. Don't get mad at quiet on that. Just, I must be on some kind of street. You know, when I was growing up in the country, say what you're gonna make, but even the drunks and gamblers had respect for the truth. They were shooting dice. Somebody say that. That's going to run a beat it, though. They, they grab the dice and put them up. Somebody ball up the money. Put it in the pocket and stand straight up. Hey, Reverend, how you doing? Oh, they have some witnesses here. They take the whiskey bottle and, and hide it from the preacher. They, they respect it. Some, some of you all know what I'm talking about. Some of you all know what I'm talking about. They, they respect the preacher. They respect the preacher. We live in a time now where there's not much respect for the preacher. To say something, but I'm kind of half scared. I'm trying not to see it. Somebody 
need your help. I need to move on. Let me move on. I'm going to get bogged down and get in trouble here. But you need to, you need to, you need to look out for your pastor. derogatory and negative and demeaning things about your pastor. Listen, I don't care if it's true. You still don't need to be gossiping about it. I'm not talking about how much time 
practice them doing that. But how much time do you spend with God uninterrupted?
and told him, said, look, said, folks, folks looking for you. Other words, we got some folks waiting on you now. Jesus said, no, you're not going to tell me where to go. The preacher got to be careful that no one tells him when to go and when to come. No one. He only listened to God. Say amen. Now. And you say amen, I soon sit down. If you be quiet, I preach another hour. I know you say I hear about myself. That's all right. I don't care. People say, people say we got, we got, we got some folks. I need to hear you. And Jesus said, no, 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 no. We're going, we going over into the next time. You, you're not going to set my agenda for me. Pastor got to be very careful of that. You don't let other folks set your agenda. Now let God set your agenda. Let God tell you what to do and when to do it. And, and, and Jesus says, uh, uh, we're going into the next town and preach. Because that's why I was sent forth. Isn't that something? God sent his only only begotten son. And he was a, a preacher. Well, you in good company when you are a preacher. Don't, 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 don't be discouraged. And uh, don't, don't let situations Cause you to hang down your head. Remember you in you in good company when you are a preacher. And uh, you need to know how you need to know how you ought to treat your preacher. And uh, I tell folks sometimes, don't forget, God might call your son or your grandson to be a preacher. And, and, and then when it's your son, you want everybody to treat him right. I don't know about you, but I just I'm glad that God called me to be a preacher. Oh, I wouldn't take nothing for being a preacher. And uh, I ain't got it. I didn't want to do it when you first called me. And uh, I ran and ran and ran until I ran into him. Oh, yes. But uh, I'm a preacher now. And uh, I don't mind telling you the story about Jesus Christ. Yes. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Jesus, my brother. Jesus, my doctor in the sick room. Anybody here know he's a doctor? Ooh, oh, Jesus, my company keeper. Yes, he is. Anybody know he'll keep your company?
God has used Pastor Small and I as a team to do some great things in this city. Years ago, he was president of the Ministers Conference. I, I was not his immediate successor, but I followed him later after Dr. Michael Reeves. And I came to him and I said, President Small, why don't we have a citywide revival in Birmingham? And he said, probably because the Lord waiting on you to chair it. <laughs> and lo and behold, I ended up chairing the citywide that has become, I'm sure, one of the strongest citywides in this state. I was doing a lecture on morality and the Christian faith, and before I knew it, I was at Our Lady of Lords lecturing to Catholic priests, nuns, and deacons. And I said, Dr. Small, I'm out here lecturing to folk I don't know, and I'm a part of a minister's conference and none of y'all have heard it. Uh, would you give me a chance to lecture so y'all can critique me before I get way out there? And uh, he allowed me to lecture, and then that first lecture led into something unprecedented. For the next several years, every month I was a lecturer. Amen. Amen. So we praise God for him and his ministry and his work. Amen. And then it brings me great delight always to see Dr. J.M. Lewis. Come on, let's stand and praise God. Come on, let's praise God. That's my predecessor here for 34 years. Charles Smith was pulling that history together. The reality is, the first person who said, I may be the next pastor of this church, was Dr. J.M. Lewis. Amen. And uh, Brother Etheridge was the chairman of deacons at the time, but, but Pastor Lewis was the one who said that. Uh, so much work has gone into this. Amen. Y'all still looking good. I came here Thursday for one purpose, and there was so much work going on all around the campus, over here in the sanctuary, outside, across the street, and I got this problem. I guess I got that from my mom and my daddy. I, I don't sit well when folk are working. <laughs> Amen. So before I knew it, I was helping them do something for my anniversary. I said, let me go home. Uh, so much work is done. And then next week, uh, not this week, but next week, we'll be hosting our district association here and that brotherhood night. And we'll double check that. I think that Tuesday night, our men's course, our male course is supposed to say. And so we got work there. So y'all, I'm going to do something I rarely do. Amen. We're not going to have Bible study on Tuesday night. Yeah. And I am so proud of y'all for not shouting. But we're going to be praying where we are. And then we'll reconvene uh, the week of the association. Uh, our chairpersons have done a phenomenal job. I want to ask them to stand and come and give some remarks, whatever remarks you may have, you deserve, and I know you may not have any remarks planned, so if you say the wrong thing, you've earned the right to mess up. <laughs> Amen. Let's praise God for them again. That husband and wife tandem. And these smart women 
were not reluctant to let their husbands leave. Amen. Amen. There it is. Thank you, Pastor. We just want to thank uh, Pastor Small for coming and Amen. letting the Lord use him. Amen. 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 We want to thank each of you that helped out, that supported the pastor's 19th pastor's anniversary. One way or another. We want, definitely want to thank you, 23rd Street for showing up as you do and showing up. Thank you so much. All of those, especially our members that were on real rate, the members there who are not here, but they played a, just a vital part in making this a success. We thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And y'all, even family, uh, they're, they're forced to be family, but they aren't forced to love you. Yeah. Amen. You got, uh, every one of you got some family folk, you might love them, but you don't like them. Some of y'all have skipped some family reunions, but one family member going to be there. But I, number one, celebrate my mother coming. Yeah. Mama, won't you stand? Yeah. And then uh, they were talking to Sister Jones, my pastor, who now is in, at home with the Lord who baptized me, licensed me, ordained me, installed me in three churches. And uh, Sister Joan says, I would love to go. And uh, I thought she was just being nice. You know, she, that was a nice thing to say. So they followed up with her. She said, I've got a pill in the blanket. And, and I'll find a corner to sleep in. And so she came, Sister Jones, would you stay? One of the times that I preached at my home church, I said from the pulpit, I said to the single brothers that, that's there, I said, if you're looking at Sister Jones as a model for what you should look for in a wife, you've probably set your standards too high. Uh, and that's how I value and respect her. Let's praise God for them traveling, for Charles, all of traveling from Shreveport, Louisiana. And that trip is more than a notion. Uh, thank God. So we are going to prepare now to eat. Uh, somebody said when they found out we weren't having an afternoon service, another preacher, he says, it's a shame that people just don't want to come back for afternoon services. I said, yeah, me included. <laughs> so that's the Pastor Steve Paul will give us our final words. Bless the food and the benediction. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Thank you so much for your prayers and for your support in proclaiming the word of God. Thank you for your wonderful pastor. One of, the, um, one of the premier pastors that we have anywhere. Yeah. I am honored to call him my friend. Yeah. And trust me, I use that term very seldom. Yeah. A friend. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Glad 
see you, Dr. Lewis. Thank God for you, and um, may God continue to bless and keep you. Thank you again for uh, this program and committee and everybody, all this work. Somebody did a lot of work. And y'all dressed up to look good. All of you look good. Okay, I'm going to stand. That's it. I did forget one thing because y'all know him, but let me ask James to stand. This is my beloved son and whom I'm well pleased. Amen. Keep his grades up, working. All the time. So I gotta get him his own keys so he can leave mine alone. Hey. God bless you. God bless you. Okay, um, let us all stand, please, at this time. Again, I want to thank our choir and conditions. Y'all give it up for me. Great job, great job, great job, great job. God bless you, thank you, thank you, Reverend. Let us bow. Eternal God, we thank you for this service. Thank you for this pastor and these people. Bless them as they go forward now. Uh, bless the food that has been prepared, the uh, hands that prepared it. May nourish and strengthen our bodies. And may the grace of our Lord and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with thee henceforth and forevermore. May we all sing. God bless you. Amen. We always forget something, but I do want to thank God for Pastor Trent, Trent Green. Before I even asked him to preside, said, Pastor, I'll be here. Now, he did say one thing I didn't like when he left the other night he was preaching. He said, Doc, when you came here to pastor, I was eight years old. I said, it's time for you to go.